Hello, my name is Julian Edgar, and I'm the author of this book, A Century of Car Aerodynamics, The Science and Art of Cars and Airflow. What I want to do in today's video is take a look at a car that I feature within the book. And in fact, it's part of that car. It's the 1980s Ford biplane rear spoiler. So how does it actually work and what cars was it on? Well, it was fitted to the 1983 Ford Sierra, the XR4i model in the UK, and the 1985, the Mercur XR4Ti in the US. And here's the biplane rear spoiler. Biplane, uh, obviously, it's got two wings. Well, really, has it got two wings? Let's take a look. So what's uh, allowing us to actually find out how that uh, rearrangement works is the United States patent that was taken out by Ford, granted in 1985. And the patent describes quite clearly how in fact that system works. So here we have yellow arrows. These show attached flow. You must have attached flow for the system to work. Attached flow that comes down the side of the car, wraps around and then passes down the rear glass. Attached flow that comes from the top of the roof and again, transitions down onto the uh, rear glass. Now, these are the two key diagrams. Here we have the spoiler at the back of the car, no wing in this case, no biplane, just the spoiler. And we have airflow that comes down the back glass, attached as I said, but look, it starts to separate ahead of the rear spoiler. And this is an area of flow separation and therefore an area of low pressure. Now we don't want low pressure there, we want the air to be uh, pushing down on the glass, not lifting up on the glass, creating lift. So what happens when we put a wing a little bit forward and a little bit above. So here's the wing that's been added. You can see it is a true shape uh, wing. It creates its own little wake behind it, which is not so good. You can see here's the wake behind the, uh, the rear spoiler. But what it does is it speeds up the airflow that's going underneath. And so here we have faster airflow underneath the wing. That creates better flow attachment, and so we have flow attachment all the way onto the rear spoiler. The separation bubble is gone, the pressure on the rear spoiler is higher, and of course the wing, because it's a true shape of wing, creates its own little bit of downforce as well. So not only does the wing work as a wing, it also improves the action of the rear spoiler by providing better flow attachment down the rear glass and onto it. It's all in my book, A Century of Car Aerodynamics. I go right back to the 1920s, come right forward to the current day, Porsche Taycan, for example, and I look at all the significant aerodynamic developments on cars, including where we want lower drag and also where we want lower lift. The book's out now. It's available from Amazon in all countries. Thank you.